the decades, we've made oodles of them. Jaguar SS, MGs, Triumph TRs, Lotus Elans, all perfect for scampering along Britain's twisty country lanes. Our prowess with light sports cars even helped us to become the dominant world force in motorsport. After World War II, our motorsport pioneers used the abandoned wartime airfields to develop light rear-engine machines, with which they were able to slay the heavyweight front-engine Ferraris. This type of car, then, is in our blood. And as is often the way with these things, today the best British roadsters are Japanese. The Mazda MX-5 is the car that reintroduced the roadster to a modern era. And it makes no bones about pretending to be British. Even Alf Garnett would be fooled. It's just so simple. And that poppy exhaust note and snickety gear change, well, they're nicked straight from the Lotus Elan. And that's it. That is an MX-5. And perhaps most amazingly, the MX-5 is now about 15 years old. And in all that time, they've hardly changed it. But then, why would they? Because it is still one of the best handling little cars in the whole world. It's fantastic. But if Mazda have kept things simple, that's nothing to what Toyota have tried with the MR2. They wanted the MR2 to be light and focused like a racing car. So the engine is here in the middle. In fact, the engineers became so obsessed with perfect weight distribution that they didn't want you messing it up with heavy luggage in the boot. So there isn't one. If you're planning a weekend away in one of these, it had better be to a nudist camp. Like the Mazda, this MR2 hasn't forgotten the basic rules of the Roadster. The engine is only a 1.8. There are no fripperies like a powered hood and electric seats. And it costs less than 18 grand. But where the MX-5 really is a bit of, well, a lot of frothy fun, this is a bit more serious. Of the two, it is probably the faster, but it's also the most hard work. The Japanese don't have it all to themselves, though. The only people with a roadster heritage as strong as ours are the Italians. And they're still having a crack at it. The Fiat Barchetta was on sale here about eight years ago. I know, I bought one. Then it disappeared, and now it's back. The Barchetta is not just pretty, it's also rare. And that makes it cool. As do the cute little door handles. And the fact you can have it in a colour called shiny grey. Shiny grey? must have come from a Mafia suit catalogue. When it comes to making you look more stylish, the Fiat has the Japanese cars licked, which is a good job, because underneath, unlike the Toyota and the Mazda, it's front-wheel drive. OK, so compared to the dizziness and frivolity of the MX-5 and the serious determination and aggression of the MR2, this is... Well, nowhere near. But it is kind of perky. It's more of a brisk roadster. But it does have one big, big advantage over the Japanese. The price. Because this pretty, pucker, handmade Italian roadster costs 12 grand. That's five less than the other two. The MX-5 remains my favourite. If money's the issue, buy a 12 grand second-hand one of these. It's more fun than the Barchetta, it's prettier than the MR2, and it's even got a small boot, which isn't a lot to ask. The fact remains that it just does everything right. If Delia made a recipe for the Roadster, this would be it. I agree with you. This is brilliant. I mean, it's been around now since, well, the Druids were using these, oh, weren't yeah. they? <laughs> Ramesses III had one. Yeah, it was a, I think it was Laguna Blue. His Laguna Blue, no, it well was. remembered, actually. Yeah. Thing is, though, of these little sports cars, the one I'd have is the MGTF. I'm sorry? You what? <laughs> no, I know, it, I know it's kind of like you sit on it rather than in it, and it's yeah. got roly-poly handling, and you have to have either a beard or, or breasts. But <laughs> it's rubbish. I've always had a soft spot for it. You know, sometimes when a thought pops into your head, you should kind of leave it there and not, <laughs> not put it out in the world. Did I just say that all out loud, then? Oh, yes, mate. Sorry, yeah. 
You did. Got another thought's just popped into my head about how like the cat in Shrek 2 you look like. <laughs> I, well, I said that out loud as well, didn't I? So, yeah. edit, no, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay, we can, uh, we can edit all that out and we'll go and do the news.